Yo, what is good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another WWE 2K22 my GM video. And yeah, so we are we are in month two of my GM and we're gonna go ahead and uh start getting this show on the road by booking this uh first week in month in month two of Monday Night Raw. Let's see here. I think we should put Nia Jax in the opener. Uh, let's put her up against a cruiser. Oh yeah, see how that's highlighting right there? Let's go. Let's see, do we want to do a gimmick match? <clears throat> I think we'll make it a tables match. Title won't be on the line because uh, I think she's in the middle of a rivalry with uh, Bianca. As a matter of fact, I think I want Bianca to do a run in. Yeah. And then promo. See, Cody Rose is new champ. I think we'll have him come out. You know what I mean? Celebrate with the crowd. So we'll save that promo. Mid card. Who do we want in the mid card? Let's see, Bruiser, Fighter. Maybe we'll do uh, Finn Balor, and then he and Edge have a rivalry. Finn Balor's a heel. Let's put him up against Kevin Owens. There we go. <clears throat> now nah, we'll keep it a normal match. And let's see. I think Balor was in a rivalry with Edge. So maybe we'll do a run in with Edge on Balor. We'll save that. <clears throat> Promo. Let's see. We'll do a call out. Liv Morgan will call out. Rhea Ripley. And then for our main event, I think we'll have Roman take on ya boy. <clears throat> and we'll make that straight up. We'll leave it straight up. And let's confirm booking. Yeah, we're going to confirm it. And let's see. Simulate. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, and it was okay. So that means that the Bianca interference was successful. Nas, Nas, Cody, oh, weak promo. I should, I probably should have had him do a call out. So let's see here, Balor versus KO. One, one, two, three. Mediocre, damn, tough crowd. But the rivalry grows. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> and this was a good promo. Alrighty. How about this main event? One, two, three. Ooh, Roman beat me. 
And it was mediocre. Damn it. I probably should have played that one. Ooh, we had the better show. We had the better opener, the better mid card, and the better main event. Okay, so we did all right. So yeah, we is closing in on them. See, hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. Uh, thanks for your work, six, but I won't be renewing the contract. Or wait, I'll be. I'd be interested in staying. And the cost would be 102k. Uh, can we do 71k? I think we both know I'm worth more than that. If you want me to stay at Raw, you need to meet my asking price. Uh, thanks for your work, Six. But I won't be renewing the contract. I understand. Uh, then this will be my final week at Raw. That's fine. You're not in the middle of a rivalry anyway. So in conversation. Tamara. Hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. Alright. Let's see. We could definitely renew hers. See, I'll be interested in staying. And cost will be 12 k See, that's reasonable. We can do that. Sounds good, Tamara. So it sounds good, Tamara. We could do that. Tamara, Tamara, however you pronounce your name. Not trying to be rude. Say, so great, looking forward to staying with Raw. Awesome. So Kevin Owens, you don't seem to realize this, Anderson, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. Yeah, don't say. I want to make my mark in a promo during tonight's show. I'll see to it. Great, the fans are going to love what I have to say. I hope so. So Finn Balor, that loser edge attacked me during last night's fight. I'm not going to stand for that gar for, for garbage like that. Uh, I want to settle things in the ring with him within the next three weeks. Alrighty. Good, you mess with Balor, you pay the price. So, okay, uh, let's set up this match with Balor and Edge. Let me see. <clears throat> so we'll have Edge and Balor. Nah, we'll keep it normal. Interference, no, we'll keep it off. And then promo, we'll let KO, we'll have KO call out somebody. So, Bruiser. You know what? I'm not doing anything. Let's have him call me out. Yeah. And then for our mid card, let's have Tamara come out. She's going to take on Naya again. This time it'll be straight up. Or actually. Let's put the title on the line, and then we'll have interference. We'll do a run-in. Who's a heel? Rhea Ripley's a heel, but she's in the middle. You know what? I need more female heels. I probably should change Becky Lynch into a heel. Because Bianca is feuding with Nia. So yeah, we're going to have Bianca interfere. Nia might get screwed out of the title. And then I'll have Becky do a role change promo. <clears throat> I 
That way I can have another female heal. Because I think Naya and Rhea are my only heals. So I need a third heal. Because I think I have four female baby faces. So I have a third female heal. That'll balance out the heals and baby faces. And then we'll do the main event. Let's see. Cody and X-Pac. Non-title. Yeah, I think this will be a good match for X-Pac to go out, go out on. So, yeah. Confirm booking. <clears throat> Actually, hold up. Now, we want, we want big arenas, okay? Road crew... Gorilla Crew. <clears throat> Stage Building Crew. Veteran Crew. Network quality lights, effects, and pyro. Let's do that. And then veteran lights, 3D, and pyro. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Advertisement. <clears throat> I think we could stretch that. And yeah, we'll keep it there. So confirm booking. Oh, I'm over budget? I think we're good now. <clears throat> See, simulate, spectate, play match. Uh, I think we'll simulate that one. One, two, three. Valor went over. And it was a good match. Sweet. So, Owen's calling me out. That was excellent. Alrighty, and Tamara Tycross versus Nia Jax, straight up, and Tamara goes over, that means she got screwed out of the title, ooh, I knew it was great, sweet, sweet, roll change, excellent, okay, we're starting to build some momentum here, simulate, X-Pac wins, so he goes out with a win, and that was okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, simulate. One, two, three. Oh, I meant to simulate the whole show. Yeah, simulate the whole show. Ooh. So we had a strong opening, a strong main event, and our mid-card was just as good as theirs. But so overall, we did just a little bit better than them. So we is on top now, but barely. We just barely passed them. So we, so we is number one. We is number one. Los Angeles. See, I'm really psyched for this upcoming pay per view. Can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd. All right. Listen, I'm not feeling physically 100% right now. I don't mind pain, but I don't want a serious injury. Okay, I feel you. 
Sorry, Cody. We have work to do. Sure, get some rest, Cody. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. Right on, right on. Uh, let's see. In conversation. Uh, let me see those power cards. <clears throat> Someone needs to rehab injury. So let's do that. <clears throat> Can't not use power card, huh? We can use free special effects booking applied sweetness. Contract negotiations. <clears throat> Fixed match guarantee that chosen superstar will win their match this week. Uh, veto random superstar prevents random superstar on an opposing show from competing on next week's show. Okay, I don't think I want that. <clears throat> and then let's see if we can pick up some free agents. Let's see, KO called me out. So I think we need a fight. <clears throat> this will be a normal match. No interference. So let's go ahead and save that match. Promo. We'll do a call out. Cody will call out. Even though he's champion. Let me see, what class is Cody? Because I'm thinking about having him call out Mace. Or should we have him call out Austin Theory? Or Nah, you know what? Have him call out Rollins. Because they're currently in a rivalry in real life. So why not have them feud over the title? Actually, let's reverse the roles. Hold up. Okay. Let's do this. Call out... We'll have Rollins call out Cody for the title. I think that would be fire. And yeah, let's do a tag match. <clears throat> yeah, because Cody's not 100%. His stamina is at 35. But if I put him in a promo, I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do a tag match. We'll have Naya. Yeah, Nia and Ripley. They'll go up against... I need two baby faces. The Champ, Tamara, and Liv Morgan? Oh, yeah, because Liv and Rhea are rivaling... Are, are in a rivalry, I should say. So, yeah, that, I think that'll work. And then we'll keep it straight up. <clears throat> Promo. see who wants to self promo uh maybe we'll do austin theory i haven't really been using austin theory and i feel bad so we'll have him do a promo that way he's on there and the main event will be i think we'll have mace debut and we'll have him take on edge and we'll have Balor do a run-in on Edge. Or maybe we'll have Edge take on Roman. No? Edge and Balor. Oh, Edge has a little stamina. So maybe we'll have Balor. See, I don't have enough baby faces. Someone's going to need to change their damn role. We'll have Balor and Roman go at it. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'll have Balor become face on next week's show. So let's go ahead and simulate this. See how this works out. Two, Owens went over. And it was disappointing. But the rivalry between us grows. Okay, How about this promo? Oh, the promo was good. Alright, cool.
So let's try this tag match. One, two, three. Winner, Nia and Ripley. Ooh, it was okay. Austin Theory promo, that was okay. Okay. Simulate One, Balor and Roman. Three. Disappointing. So, SmackDown had a much better show than us. Okay, so here's what we're going to do then. So I need to balance out my roster anyway. Hey, I feel like I'm the fall guy every week at the moment. Whatever my match is, I want to win. Okay. Uh, Raw is making waves and I'm at the forefront of it all. This is amazing. Through the ups and downs, I've never been on this kind of roll before in my career. Hey. I absolutely appreciate what you're doing, what you bring to Raw. You're one of our top stars. In fact, I want to offer you a bonus of 50K for helping to carry this brand. Say money can't solve every problem, but it definitely helps. Thank you, A. Anderson. This means a lot. I'm glad to know I'm valued. I've certainly had worse bosses. Bruh. Okay, let's start with the promo. And I think what I want to do is I want to turn my character heel. Because I want to kick off a story between me and the Raw GM. So yeah, in order for me to do that, I would have to turn heel. So we'll save that promo. And then for the opener, let's have KO take on Is that a good match? I mean, it's a bruiser versus a giant. Actually, you know what? Okay, where are my heels? Where are my heels? Him and Roman? Bruiser and Bruiser? No, that's not going to match. How about him and Edge? Bruiser and Specialist. No. Oh, yeah, let's do him and Austin. I haven't put Austin Theory in a match in quite some time. And then we'll do... Normal match, interference, run-in. Okay, I can't do the run-in, so we'll cancel the run-in. Save that match. Mid card, it will be. Let's put Tamara. I'm feeling bold. We'll have her go up against Naya in the mid card. Be a normal match. Uh, the title will not be on the line. Do I want to do interference? We'll do interference. We'll have Rhea interfere to help Naya, because that's her partner. Yeah, let's do that. Promo, self promo. I think we'll have Liv do a promo. Wait, what's her promo skills? Two? Okay, maybe not her. We'll do Bianca. Do I want her to call out somebody? She can call out Becky Lynch, because Becky Lynch isn't doing anything. Or Becky Lynch can call out Bianca. Let's do that. Because then Naya is busy with Tamara. And then Liv is busy with Rhea. So yeah, that balances out. For the main event, let's do... Uh, let's, use, let's have Roman go up against somebody. Cody Stammer is at the 47. Bro, 
permanent edge. Then maybe we'll do an interference edge. Shouldn't it be Balor though? Or Balor is. Do I have him feuding with KO? No, KO's feuding with me. Balor. There we go. I forgot that's how you set it up. No. Balor. Alright. I think that'll do it. Simulate. One, two, three. Damn, that was disappointing. Okay. My promo was weak, but at least I'm healed now. Okay, how about this mid card? One, two, three. Maybe I should have had them open the show. Or maybe not. Okay, that was an excellent promo. How about our closer? One, two, three. No. Damn, this is a disappointing show. Alrighty, so we're not doing so hot right now. And they are smoking us. So TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs. Uh, make sure you're matching up superstars who pair who pair well with each other. Uh, oh, who pair well against each other's style of fighting. Theory versus Owens was a bit of a mismatch. Okay. Remember that Giants pair very well with cruiserweights. Fighters pair best against bruisers and specialists. We'll put on a reasonable match. Oh, bruisers and specialists will put on a reasonable match against any class. That's not to say you can't use uh, other pairings. And sometimes you, you'll need to be to meet a commissioner goal or satisfy one of your superstars demands but keep your best matchups in mind especially when planning out rivalries okay hey boss you have me bench for a while shit that's right i forgot um i really want to match really want to get back in the ring it's time you woke up and put me back where i belong i want to match in the next show okay All right. Hey Anderson, uh, you, you've seen the work I've been putting in, but now I can do more for the brand. Okay. I'm ready to run a main event. Ready to run a, run a main event match, and I know the fans will be excited. This would mean a lot to me and for my career. What do you say? Let's see what I can do. So, yeah, me and him have a rivalry. See here, me, and I need to pair up with a heel. Me and Roman, KO and Edge. Opener. We'll do the women's title match. Tables, extreme rules, TLC. 
Yes. Let's do TLC because that's the pay per view title match. Do we want interference or do we want to keep it straight up? I think we'll do interference. Rhea Ripley. Because then maybe what I can do is I can kick off a feud with Ripley and Tamara. Let's do that. Mid card. Okay, Rollins hasn't been on. Let's put him against somebody. No. Yeah, you know what? I haven't used Mace at all, so let's put Rollins and Mace in a match. Damn it, I need another baby. Oh, I was supposed to turn Finn babyface. Fire, yeah. I think we'll put those two together. Let's have Mace do his debut. We'll have Mace attack Balor. That'll help turn Balor face. Secondary mid card. Let's have Liv go. Actually, no. Let's do Becky Lynch and Bianca. We'll have them fight in the stream rules. Straight up. Promo. Let's do roll change. And I can't change Finn because he's in a match. So no, let's do advertising, charity, self promo. I want some charity work. Someone could do some charity work. Let's have Liv do some charity work. Or do we want Edge to do charity work? Yeah, we'll have Edge do charity work. That'll help get his stamina back up too. And then this promo, we'll do a self promo. Live. Do another promo. Advertising, Austin Theory. I think I got everybody on the card. Now I got the title back in a classic. All right. So, Edge did some charity work, and that was excellent. Sweet. Rollins versus Balor, and Mace is going to make his debut. He's going to run in on Balor. Let's see how that works out. One, two, three. Ooh, it didn't work. Doll match. Okay. Promo. Good promo from Liv. Becky Lynch versus Bianca. One, two, three. It was okay. Okay. Austin Theory. Excellent promo. But why say he went down a few points? I don't understand. 
Weird. Tag match. It was okay. All right. All right. So we had the better performance. We had the better better end of the show. So we are doing good. We 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 coming back up. We is back in number one, baby. Let's go. See, look, Jax has been handing me nothing but losses. Isn't there? Someone else on the roster you can match me up against for a change. Sure. I'm gonna have her I'm gonna have her call out Rhea Ripley anyway. See, I've been putting in a lot of work and I think I've earned a shot at the title. How about it? Owens versus Cody? That could be good. You're right, Kevin. You'll get your shot within three weeks. Great. Looking forward to it. So then I guess we can have Owens call out Cody. So, okay. So for the opening match, let's do this. I'll open with... I'll, I'll open with Austin. And <clears throat> I want to try out this GM interference. And she's going to go after Austin Theory. So we might run the risk of turning him face. So using G. M interference will update the match rules to no DQ and the limit and limit the match to single player with options only play as the GM or simulate the match. Would you like to continue? Yes. And then let's do the call out. The first call out. So promo no call out. Uh Tamara. Yes, Tamara and Rhea. Perfect. Look at that, man. This this thing already... Okay, you know what? You, you, you're kind of winning some points with me for that one. Because you, you already know where I, where I was going with that. So I, I appreciate that. Kind of scary, but I appreciate that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, no interference. We'll keep it straight up. Because Rhea's going to be busy. So, yeah. And then for our main event... I don't think we always have to put Roman in the main event. Let's do um, Rollins. Ooh, Rollins and Cody? That meets the commissioner goal. Okay, screw it. We'll, we'll go with that. No, we want a real arena setting here. So yeah, let's go ahead. Power cards. Let's see. 
Oh, we can't spectate it? So Austin Theory is going to win. That's disappointing. Okay. See, it's weird when you set up the GM interference because then when you have it, you know, going towards your opposition, she's actually going to come out with your opposition. It's going to be on his side. Hmm. But then when you set up regular run-ins and you set it up for a certain person, then that's the person you're targeting. That's weird. Okay, that was an excellent promo. Call out. So that was good. Okay. We're excellent. One, two, three. Hmm. Come on, Cody. You're supposed to be my champion and you're making us look bad. And we had a rough show. Okay. He's still number one, though. Hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. Okay. Let's see, 41K. I think I can scratch that. So an interesting thing happened to me at work today. My boss decided to show up out of the blue and really take my make my life difficult. What a jerk. Do you know anyone like that? <laughs> my bad. I meant to be in favor of you. Tag team. Rollins and Theory versus a couple of baby faces. Owens and... Cody, yeah. Let's see, how many heels do I have? Okay, I have four heels. No, I have more than four heels. I have four, five, six heels. Three baby faces. Okay, I need more baby face. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting I need to change Balor. So let's save that. Roll change, Balor. Here we go. Main event spot. It'll be me taking on Edge. GM interference for me. There we go. Mid card. Uh, let's see here. Ripley and Tamara. Let's do a normal match, but interference. Let's have Liv interfere. Yeah, against Ripley. And then we'll do a promo here. Naya's going to call out Bianca. I think that would be a decent show. Simulate that. One, two, three. New rivalry. Mediocre. Okay. Wait, if Cody's going to be in a tag rivalry, then I need to take the title off of him. Alright, Fowler's not good, and his promo was good. Alright, cool. One, two, three. 
Tamra gets the victory. Mediocre. Damn. This was okay. Main event. There we go. Disappointing. Well, on the heel, so of course you should be disappointed the heel got the victory. And we're still number one. Oh, we're already almost close to WrestleMania? Hey, my contract at Raw is up at the end of the week. Uh, 10K? We can do 10K. Uh, hey, what was that? I didn't realize you were picking sides now within your own team. I guess now I know. Hey, it's part of the story, bruh. Part of the story. I'm starting to think you don't care about my needs very much here. Eh, that's fine. You could think that. Uh, hi, Anderson. Uh, listen, I'm sick of working for DeVille at SmackDown. Trent Seven wants to come over here. I'm happy to ditch my contract and come to work at Raw. I'll do it at a discount. 68K and I'll sign with Raw starting next week. What do you say? He's a fighter. Yeah, let's do it. Here's what we'll do. Nah, I'm going to call out Cody. Actually, you know what? I'm going to book me. Because Cody, I think, is going to be in a tag rivalry with, um, with Owens and going up against Rollins and um, Theory. So, if that's the case, then I need to get the title off of Cody. So, why don't we do this? Cody will drop the title. Nah, we'll have him drop it to another face. Who's not in a tag situation? You know what? We'll have him drop to Edge. And that way me and Edge could be in a rivalry with the GM by my side. So, yeah, we'll do that. Cody, drop it to Edge. It'll be... No, it'll be a regular match. Title match on interference. I'm going to run in and screw Cody. Yes, I'm going to screw Cody out of the title. do that and then let's see call out actually opener I always open with the women let me open with a men's match let's see KO KO in theory. Oh no, they're both bruisers. Why don't we do KO and Rollins? Because they're involved in the tag situation. No, we can't do that. Because I'll fail my commissioner goal. Okay, we'll do Balor then. But wait, if I put. Uh, screw it. Interference. Run in. We'll have Rollins run in on KO to keep their rivalry going. Naya will do a self promo. 
Mid card will put will be the women's match. Uh, let's see. Liv versus Rhea. We'll do an interference again. Yes. Charity. Who could do charity? Bianca could do charity. All right. Simulate. One, two, three. Okay, that was mediocre. That sucked. Nia did a great job with her promo. Nice. Oh, the interference didn't do nothing for Rhea. Or for Liv. Charity? Yes. Simulate. Edge, edge. Yes. Okay. So now here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get that over with. Cause we still on top. One week until Mania. So this went by quick. So Trent Seven, hi Anderson, great to be joining you at Raw. Okay. Let's see, I'm raring to go and looking forward to my first match. Sweet. Not happy losing my championship last week as a former champion. I'm uh, enacting my rematch clause. I want a championship rematch against Edge. Nobody else better get a title shot before me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. No, no can do, I'm afraid. No. After I put that championship on the map, you're going to deny my rematch. I thought things were going well for me at Raw. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cody. Uh, I kind of have plans for... You know, a rivalry, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, call out. I'm going to call out. Actually, wait a minute. So, I'm going to call out Edge. Or should I have Edge call me out? Edge is a baby face, so I'm sure he wouldn't appreciate me helping him win the title. So he gonna call me out. Opener. We booking Cody against Trent. Oh, that's right. Tag team match. Cody, who was your partner? I know who Rollins' partner was. It was Theory. Cody, I think I had you teaming up with KO. That's right. So we're going to do that. Mid card. Naya's stamina is low, so I'm going to give her the night off. Let's see. Um, Rhea and Tamara gonna be an extreme rules match there will be interference and it's gonna be from Bianca nah it's gonna be from Liv call out Uh, nah, you know what? I haven't done much with Becky Lynch. Let's do some advertising with her. 
main event. I think we'll do a tag match. No, it's gotta be one on one. We'll have Mace take on Balor. That was okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Uh, mid card. One, two, three. Rhea wins again despite interference. It was an amazing match. Becky Lynch, advertising, okay. Mace versus Finn. Finn wins. It was dull. Finn, you need to step it up, my guy. So, they had the better show. We only had a strong mid card. We're still number one, but barely. And we are at WrestleMania. So, what the hell happened to my title shot? You know... The one you promised you'd give me. Hey, look, sorry, but plans changed. I was hoping to leave. Oh, hoping to have a better season than this at Raw. Listen, I can't stand teaming with Kevin. He's the reason why we keep losing our tag team matches. And I can't drill it into his thick skull. Well, maybe y'all should have a match. Uh, let me prove who the problem is on the team. Give me a singles match tonight, and I'll show them how it's done. Seems reasonable. Great, I'll show Owens what a real winner looks like. So, why don't we make that, um, like, the second to last match. We'll do KO and Cody. So they can have their blow off. We'll make this Hell in the Cell. No interference. Main event is going to be me and Edge for the title. So yeah, Champion Edge. Nope, you're going up against me. And there's going to be GM interference. She's going to favor me over Edge. Uh, let's see. Opener. I think opener should be a tag match. Let's see. Roman and Mace. Versus Balor and Trent. Why don't we make that TLC? Tables? Well, let me get a tables match. Tag team tables match. Mid card. First mid card will be. I know Naya, she's low on stamina, but she has to defend her title against Bianca. They gotta have their blowout. Title match on. Run in. So we can guarantee victory. <clears throat> we'll have Liv interfere. Next mid card match. Uh, Rhea and Tamara need to have their blow off. So 
why don't we do that? Run in. We'll have Becky attack Rhea. Or no, we'll have her attack Tamra to kick off that feud. So let's do that. Let's see, do I have enough for promo? Rollins will do a self promo. Theory can do the other self promo. And then I think that's it. That's everybody now is on the card. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Ooh, Finn and Trent. Mediocre. At least it wasn't dull. Okay, promo. Women's title match. It was good. Bianca is the new champ. Okay. Theory. Good promo. Our next mid card. Tamara wins. And it was okay. All right. And then our final mid card. One, two, three. Kevin Owens beats Cody. And it was okay. And now for the main event, me versus Edge. And Alice is in my corner. So let's do this. One, two, three. Yes. Your new WWE champion. Ah, it was mediocre though. And we're still number one, but barely. Barely, barely. Oh, is that it? So we barely won by the skin of our teeth. <laughs> Bruh. We gotta skip that. Okay, congratulations. Uh, you have completed my GM. <clears throat> Here's a redeemable locker code for an exclusive manager card in my faction. Uh, so locker code, you completed GM. Let me write that down. So I like that they're implementing the locker codes properly in this game by allowing you to unlock some locker codes. That's nice. Seems like they learned their lesson from the past few games that didn't really have locker codes. All right, so we got that code written down and I guess you get manager Triple H. You get Triple H as a manager. So yeah, overall we did pretty, pretty good. We barely won by the skin of our teeth. And yeah, that's going to do it for GM mode then, guys. And, um, oh, look at that. Got an achievement. Reached the top of the mountain and completed my GM. The best there ever was. Okay. So we unlocked three achievements through GM mode, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. And stay tuned. I will give a review for my GM mode. Um, coming up shortly after this video. So yeah, until then, it's your boy Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace.